Call the honourable member for Deakin. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Look, it gives me great pleasure to rise uh, this evening to talk about some important co uh, election commitments uh, that uh, we were able to deliver for the electorate of Deakin in the uh, recent budget. Um, after working hardly, uh, working hard, as firstly as a candidate, and um, now as a member, uh, it is very satisfying to be able to say that we have delivered all of our election commitments uh, in this budget. I've spoken at length uh, at other times in this chamber uh, about three really important projects for my electorate, uh, in particular for three um, very important sporting clubs, the first being Mitcham Football Club, uh, East Ringwood Sporting Club and Norwood Sporting Club. Each of these um, upgrades to facilities for the various uh, teams and junior competitions that rely on them uh, are in the process of being constructed or planned. But today I wish to focus on two other major priorities for me prior to the election, and these are local roads and community safety. In the recently handed down budget, we were very proud in Deakin to say that two major black spots uh, have been funded uh, as promised prior to the election. The first is the black spot at Bedford Road and Great Ryrie Street in Ringwood. And having attended school there growing up, I can say that it's been a problem for the local community for many, many years. I was proud to have Minister Briggs visit the site last week where we were able to confirm that the million dollars previously, and previously committed to repair that black spot has been funded. It's also great to have been able to work very closely with Maroondah City Council, who have said that the project is certainly shovel-ready, so we look forward to work commencing in a matter of weeks. The second um, major black spot in the electorate um, is the Surrey Road and Junction Road intersection. This is an, uh, an area that's seen increased traffic through to the Eastern Freeway, um, and it's been a source of concern for local residents for many years. I was therefore proud to um, formally announce that the half a million dollars towards repairing that black spot has been funded as of this budget, and Vic Roads is working on ensuring that we get the best bang for our buck. Uh, finally, uh, last week I had the pleasure of Minister Keenan um, dropping past Deakin and announcing all of our funding commitments uh, under the Safer Streets program. Uh, these involved various commitments of CCTV or improved lighting or the removal or the assistance in the removal of graffiti that just basically make living in Deakin uh, safer and more pleasant. Um, again, I want to thank Maroondah City Council and Whitehall City Council who have been exemplary partners uh, in delivering or the planning uh, for the delivery of those um, Safer Streets program uh, projects. Uh, I'll list them now. Uh, the first is $200,000 for the Ringwood precinct um, in and around Ringwood Station and along the nightclub precinct. It's been a source of uh, concern for many people over many years, uh, and I'm assured that $200,000 will go a very long way to ensuring that antisocial behaviour in that area is limited. Also, um, $200,000 for CCTV in Railway Avenue, Ringwood East. And uh, I want to thank the Ringwood Traders Association for uh, Ringwood East Traders Association for bringing those issues to my attention. In particular, uh, some of the antisocial behaviour that occurred uh, in and around Ringwood East Station that was causing huge concerns for residents and. It really came home to roost last year when Minister Keenan visited the electorate and speaking to some local hairdressers um, who often uh, have customers late into the evening felt very unsafe walking to their cars and there had been a number of circumstances that were quite unsavoury. So we're very proud to be able to improve safety for those sort of people in Ringwood East. Lastly, um, in the Whitehorse end of the Deakin electorate, we're delivering on two significant other programs. The first is $200,000 towards uh, additional lighting in and around Ngunnawading Station. Again, during the campaign, issues of safety for women particularly, walking to and from their car or, or from home to the station were an issue. So we're very proud that that lighting will 
go part of the way towards helping those problems. And finally, uh, the $80,000 for a graffiti truck for White House.